This is RJ Nestor, business and executive coach here, and I want to talk you through a couple of new features in Rome Research, one native to Rome and one in the Rome 42 extension. And I want to compare them and give you a sense of how you can use both within your workflow. So the native Rome feature just released is the new templates. And the feature from Rome 42 is smart blocks. And you've probably heard those talked about uh, if you've been anywhere around the Rome community over the last couple of weeks. Templates are a brand new native Rome feature. They allow you to quickly create templates for commonly used blocks or sets of blocks. So how does that work? Here's how you work with templates. This is that native Rome feature. First of all, and actually let me turn on my brackets so you can see that. Uh, to do that, to toggle brackets, by the way, is Control C and then Control B on Windows machine. I'm not 100% sure on a Mac, but you could look that up in the in the help menu. So with a Rome template, you simply invoke here this page, Rome slash forward slash templates, and then you type the name of the template next to that. Underneath that, indented underneath that, you put the content that you want. It can be a single block, it can be multiple blocks, it can be any amount of indentation. So anything that goes indented underneath this uh, Rome templates and name of template block will be part of the template. And so then you call on a template by typing two semicolons and choosing the correct template. Now do note, you'll see this is two semicolons. If you were a smart blocks user when it was in beta in Rome 42, it used to be two semicolons for smart blocks. As you'll see in a bit, it's now JJ. Um, but the idea here is uh, that the Rome templates now use this two semicolons. So take note of that. Here's how that works. So we've created the block up here, Rome templates, name of template. If I hit semicolon, semicolon, you'll notice it brings up the options that I have here as templates. Name of template is the one there. I click on that and whatever I created into the template, starting at that first level of indent, shows up at the cursor. And you'll notice, let me undo that with Control Z. If I do that again here, I'm going to hit two semicolons and I'm going to choose my name of template. And it's going to show up right at the cursor. And my cursor is left right where it was. And I get the whole template right there underneath that. So that's how the Rome templates work. And I'll compare here in a moment to smart blocks to show you when you might use one versus the other. Smart blocks. Smart blocks are a just released feature from Rome Hackers Rome 42 extension. Smart blocks create workflows for commonly used blocks or sets of blocks. And I use the word workflow here as opposed to template because smart blocks allow for dynamic content, meaning there are commands within SmartBox that you can use to insert content when you call that workflow. So you don't need to be a programmer for this. Uh, the SmartBox are not a programming language. SmartBox are actually a text parsing tool, and it actually writes text into Rome based on the workflow that you create. Um, but that text parsing tool does have some commands that can perform actions. And there are variables and there are things that you might associate with a programming language, but you definitely do not need to be a programmer to use smart blocks. There are a lot of dynamic uses that are straightforward that separate them and make them useful for any number of purposes and certainly any number of levels of comfort within Rome. So how do you work with smart blocks? First of all, you have to install the Rome 42 extension. And if you look in the description of this video, there's a link to a video that shows you how to install the Rome 42 extension. I'm not going to do it in this video, but if you haven't done that yet, that link will show you how. To build a smart block, it's exactly the same format as what we did above here for the templates. You invoke the name of this case, it was Rome templates for smart blocks. It's 42 smart block. I used a hashtag for that. And you can see when I type it, hashtag 42 smart block, name of workflow, it actually creates this little block of blue and red and yellow here to kind of show you it's something special. Underneath that's the content of the workflow. It can, just like others, it could be a single block or multiple blocks, any amount of indentation. Though note, 
if it gets too complex, because it is just writing text, sometimes things can go a little wonky um, if it gets very, very complex in terms of its indentation. Uh, but, uh, but by and large, as long as it stays relatively straightforward, it's, it's, it'll work perfectly for you. And here's the important part. Um, the smart box can include specialized smart box commands. And I just wanted to use one here to kind of give you a sense of that. Don't worry about these. You don't need to know these right now. I just wanted to show you how this dynamic content work. The first block here says it's going to give you the today's date. The second block actually changes the, the, the date, what that today equals to next Wednesday. And then it'll give you the today's date again, which at this time, now that it's changed the today to next Wednesday, it'll actually give you the date for next Wednesday. That's one, uh, I, would, I don't know that you'd have a use for that specific feature, uh, but that's one of the things that you can kind of, just so you can see how that dynamic content aspect of smart blocks works. And then you can call on a workflow by typing JJ and choosing the correct workflow. So in this particular case, we have name of workflow as our thing here, name of, there it is, name of workflow. I'm going to choose that. And it puts the same things in here. And you'll notice today's date came across as January 4th. And today's date, after I changed the date basis um, to next Wednesday, came across as January 13th. So, but you noticed if you watched it work, and I'll do it one more time for you here so you can see it, it actually doesn't go immediately on like the template does. It takes a moment as it's writing that text out. So name of workflow, you can see it kind of is actually writing the text in as it goes. But because of those commands, it can do some special things. And there are way more commands besides date, and I am not going into them in this video. This is just to sort of give you a sense of the difference between the two. Worth noting, because it is writing text, if you press anything while a smart block is writing, it will stop the smart block. So if you want it to finish, you have to be patient. It is simply writing text. But if for some reason you need to stop it from continuing, any key press, any mouse click will actually stop it. Well, in, a, in a, any mouse click or key press within Rome will stop it. Um, now, because they are emulating keystrokes, you do want to keep it relatively simple. Um, you want to test a smart block before you use it for something in production. Um, but if you keep it relatively simple, and it doesn't have to be like, like, you know, single line simple or anything like that. But as long as it doesn't get too wild and crazy in terms of nesting and indents and that sort of thing, a smart block is going to work beautifully and is able to do pretty amazing things. So key differences between templates and smart blocks. Templates are static. You cannot generate dynamic content, not at least, not yet at least. Um, and they are native though, because they're native to Rome, they're essentially instantaneous. Smart blocks are dynamic. Their commands allow you to create dynamic content, but they are in a Rome extension in Rome 42, and they're, so they don't have access to Rome's you know, back end there. They're simply writing text into Rome, which does take time. So to create them and kind of see them side by side here, I'll open this over to the in the block. Actually, let me open this in the sidebar first and open focus on this block here so you can see them side to side. They actually lay out exactly the same you use the, the line here, you use the name here. Um, and this particular one, I created another layer of indentation. And so you can see this. The only difference between these two is I actually did add a command here. So it'll put today's date. So if I were to run either of these, and actually let me go ahead and open this one in the sidebar as well so I can hop back out and show you them running. So I'm gonna run these side by side and I want you to see how they differ when you do that. So this is, I'm gonna run the template first. This is, semicolon, semicolon, sampled settle. And you can see it immediately popped onto the screen. It has the, 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 the indentation level there, but it doesn't have a date included because there's no way to do that dynamically here. Now, of course it's Rome, so I can just type today here and it'll bring it up and I have it now, but it can't be automated uh, in that way. It can't be done with a command. With a smart block, JJ sample, sorry, I moved away from it. JJ sample settle. It writes, it doesn't go to it immediately, but it is able to create that dynamic date there. Uh, so that's that, those are the key differences between them. So in summary, you use Rome templates for static templates of any complexity. They'll be immediate, they'll pop there, but they're static. Use smart blocks for dynamic workflows, but keep them structurally simple so it doesn't get too chaotic in terms of indents and unindents and all that because it is writing keystrokes. So as long as you understand the difference between these two and the relative merits of both, they're both really powerful ways to use automation of templates and workflows within Rome research. If you enjoy this sort of content, understanding Rome more deeply, 
check out my course, Your Road to Rome. I include a link uh, down in the uh, description as well as a link to a couple of my other resources. And so this is, I, I actually am creating an automation unit in that course as well that'll build off of these uh, videos slightly so you can see a little bit about how that works. Uh, but that gives you a, a tool that you can uh, you have an access to the community where we're working together and where I answer questions when you have them. So you can develop your understanding of how Rome can work for you.